now it's time to catch up with Michael Schultz who's at the RSPCA with some different types of cats. Hello Narelda, I think you said that was a cat's up because it's kitten season out here at the RSPCA and tonight I'm going to introduce you to four beautiful kittens that are available for adoption at the moment. These two are Chip and Troy, you'll meet the other two shortly. It was a warm day in the city as expected, we reached a maximum of 34.6 degrees at 28 minutes to 3, the overnight minimum was 16.9 degrees, that was at 2 minutes past 6 this morning. At the moment it's 30.6, the winds are southwesterly at 22 kilometres an hour and the barometer just under 1,015 hectopascals. And in our area today it reached 37 at Lanceland, the lowest maximum around us was the 30 degrees reported on Rottnest Island. So the full weather details and the kitty cats coming up at five to six. Thanks Michael, we'll see you all then. Hello and a very good evening. Welcome to the RSPCA. You may remember I had a little bit of trouble with Fitzy the cat last time I was out here at the RSPCA and sadly Fitzy is still trying to find a home but it's turned into be cat season or kitten season and there are plenty of kittens available uh, at the RSPCA and tonight we're just going to show you four of the beautiful animals who are available and looking for new homes very early in their lives. But onto the sky scan and you can see we had quite a bit of blue sky around the metropolitan area once again. The winds were pretty gusty during the night. 60 kilometre an hour gusts out at the airport, they were east north east at least. The average winds were 20 to 30 kilometres an hour. Uh, the maximum in the city today was 34.6 degrees, that was at 28 minutes to 3 this afternoon. The overnight minimum 16.9 at 2 minutes past 6 this morning. And at the moment it's just under 30 degrees. The sea breeze did reach the city, it's blowing at 19 kilometres an hour. The barometer 1014.9 hectopascals and the relative humidity 30%. The daytime temperatures, well, it was a cool start. Bickley, uh, 13, the minimum. That was the lowest around the metropolitan area. The minimum at Bullsbrook and Rottnest was the highest. That was 19. And today it reached 37 up at Lancelin and 30 was the lowest maximum. That was recorded on Rottnest Island. Around the state today, 43 at Shark Bay was the highest, 23 the lowest, that was on the Eucla coast at Eucla and Air, uh, 23 there, and 5 was the lowest last night, that was recorded at Salmon Gums to the north of Esperance, and Esperance itself had a minimum of 10 degrees. So let's have a look at these beautiful kittens at the RSPCA. This litter was actually abandoned and they were brought in when they were very, very small, so they have been put into foster homes and since they've been reared to this beautiful state where they're full of energy and running around and a lot of fun to play with, chasing just about anything. He's almost, they've almost worn the cameraman out this evening. And their names are Kathy, Elsie, Troy and Chip. And they're ready for adoption right now. So if you are looking for something to do over the long weekend and you've been thinking about getting a pet, maybe you could come out and have a look at these four or one of the more mature cats that they've got available at the moment. Uh, and the RSPCA is open from nine, uh, 10 o'clock through until about 4 o'clock uh, every day of the year except Christmas Day and Good Friday. So you can pop out there at Malaga and have a look. OK, let's go to the series of satellite photographs. And as you can see, there isn't a lot of activity happening over the southern half of Western Australia. Still some low cloud near the southern coastline. And since 9 this morning, there's been 0.6 of a millimetre at air. Uh, the most rain up till 9 this morning was 85 millimetres at Lake Argyle. There was 24 millimetres at Wyndham. On the surface pattern, we have that high down to the south of the continent. That's going to pump up to about 1,028 hectopascals tomorrow. The troughing will be off the west coast, so we're going to have the northeasterlies for much of the day, and that's going to push the temperatures higher once again. Uh, the rainfall model is showing isolated showers and thunderstorms through northern and eastern parts of the Kimberley. Uh, they may creep into the west of the Pilbara tomorrow afternoon and there's still a bit of light shower activity along the Eucla coastline. Uh, that's likely to continue particularly tomorrow morning. And for the outlook period for the long weekend, it looks like the trough's going to remain very close to the west coast, but sit just to the west of us. And as a result, we're expecting the temperatures to push a little closer to 40 than we've been suggesting so far. Uh, we'll take a quick look around the nation now where they're forecasting showers and thunderstorms across the top end. Brisbane should have a few showers, Sydney a few showers, Canberra some early drizzle and Alice Springs partly cloudy. The other cities should be sunny. On the local waters, southeasterly winds of 10 to 15 knots will be shifting easterly in the morning and easing to about 10 knots and then they'll be east to south easterly at 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. Seas around a metre, uh, the swirl getting to one to two metres during the afternoon. 
Low tide tomorrow is 0.5 of a metre. The high tide's a metre. That's at 26 minutes to 10 tomorrow night. And the forecast for Perth is for sunny conditions, east to northeasterly winds. Might be a hint of a sea breeze for the coastal suburbs. We're heading down to 21 and the maximum tomorrow should reach around 37 degrees. Then the long weekend, 38 on Saturday, 36 on Sunday. Monday should be around 31 degrees, so a little cooler to end the long weekend. And that's our visit to the RSPCA tonight. You can make your own over the next few days and pick up one of these beautiful kittens. See you later. Thanks, Rue. Thanks, Chelsea. I don't think the kittens will last very long. And that's